Hey YouTube, this is Monthraxis here, and I'm bringing you guys another Kaldheim opening. But instead, we're going to be opening, uh, instead of the kits, this time we're going to be opening the Kaldheim, one of the, um, I might get the other one, but the Kaldheim Commander deck. So there's two decks that's coming out. There's this one, Phantom uh, Premonition, and then there's another one, I don't know the name of it, but it is Black and Green Elves. But I mostly want this one because I do like blue and white plus also it's spirit. So I always wanted to build a spirit deck. But yeah, so we got this and we're going to open it up here. And I'm going to show you all the cards in here. You've probably have seen other people opening it. But this is the first on my channel. But yeah, you can see it's cut up right there. And also this, uh, I'm more, as you guys probably saw my previous kits, it was pretty horrible because I'm using new equipment. So I, this is kind of like a different setting, so I'm trying different things. See, I kind of like this one a little better than I did, but yeah. This is behind of it. You get a 100 card deck, you get a deck box, and you get 10 double sided token cards. You know that, I think you get a spin die, and uh, a deck, oh wait, I already said deck box, but yeah, you get a deck box. But yeah, this is it, so let's open up. But yeah, uh, me and my dad decided to pick these up because my dad actually wants to get into the commander. He has a friend at his work that's uh, told him commander is really fun. Uh, I know I uploaded a video of that, but my first commander deck was actually the one from Zenikar Rising, the Thief's one. So this is my second commander deck, and I haven't built my own commander deck, but after watching Game Nights, I do watch them. I kind of want to build a Koma deck because Koma is freaking amazing. Plus, also creating all those tokens is freaking scary. Plus, it looks fun. So, I really want to do that. And also, for some reason, this box doesn't want to come out for some apparent reason. Wait, I got it. Okay, there we go. I was, I was having difficulty. Oops, things fell up. So first we got our counter. So this is where you keep your points right here. So we can't see. I'm still trying out new things. Kind of moved the light over here instead of over there now. Maybe I can move it up so you can see better. But yeah, you just spin it. Mine doesn't seem to want to be spinning. There you go. See? goes up to 40 and then this side goes up to 20 so then you can use it as 20 side or you can use a 40 die and then we got our deck box right here so pretty much you just pop it out and then you can put your uh, commander deck in it sadly these do not hold sleeve cards so you can only hold them non sleeved but I recommend that you sleeve your cards and then we got the deck itself. So, this is the commander. You can also get this from the collector's booster, but of course it won't be non foil. Grand Air, the Evil Watchful. So, it's four mana. as Flying Vigilance. The first card you foretell each turn costs zero to foretell it. So, usually foretells you have to pay two. But with this, you could just, the first time you do foretell, you don't have to. Uh, whenever you exile one or more cards from your hand or permanents from the battlefield, create one one white spirit creature token with flying. So, but this guy pretty much just creates armies of flying tokens all right now into the 100 card deck but yeah, i'm super excited to actually play this me and my dad are gonna actually gonna do a game just it's gonna be like a mono mono but we're still gonna be playing commander even though we don't have other people with us but yeah banishing light i hate this card so much some of these cards i don't know because i'm still new to magic too and some of these guys actually there's eight new cards in here so I don't know which one's new, which one's old. But yeah, I started playing Magic back in 2014, so I don't know if these cards are from any other sets. Oh, I know this one. This one's a popular one. I think this one's popular in Modern or Popper. That's a pretty good pickup. There's some uh, really expensive cards in here. I know that one's from Kaladash. Some of these cards I do know where they're from. Some of them I do not. But it looks cool. Ooh, a Drake. I was going to say Dragon. Oh, yeah, Arcane Signet. Good pickup, too, if you just want to get this. But also, I think this got reprint in Commander uh, Legends. That's a good card. I know I've seen some people use that. Commander Sphere, that's another good card. I have some really good uh, Meteor Golem. I hated this card. Mind Stone, that's a good card. I think that's a new card right there. Cosmic Intervention. 
And this one too, Hero of Redguard. I actually pulled that from a collector's pack. I actually pulled a Angel card. Uh, Marshall, I think. Uh, you get some Caledon cards. Oh wait, is that a Mythic? Yeah, that's a Mythic. Cool, Angel of Strangery. Clean Xenola. I think that... I, I remember getting this from um, Core... No, Core 19. There you go. Hopefully you guys can see the cards. Yeah, I'm recording on a webcam. Well, that's cool. Sphinx. Virgo, King of Eternal. Sky Diamond. Soul Ring. That's always a good. Actually, in my first Commander game, I actually got a turn 1 Soul Ring, so it was freaking cool. But yeah. Swift Boots, I remember seeing this. That's a good card. You get some dual lands. Command Tower, that's a good card. Cryptid. Oracle Powers, that's pretty cool. Tranquil Clothes. And then you get a bunch of basic planes. And then islands. And these are all Kaldheim basic cards. They're not the snow permanent. You get more Kaldheim cards. Ooh, you actually get a Saga in here. That's pretty cool. Vega, that's cool. Replicating Ring. Uh, gates of Spell. Glacier. I guess you get a, a Snow Duelin. And then put down the deck so I can show you the tokens. But yeah, I might pick up the other deck. I'm not too for sure. Also, look forward to I might actually pick up a bundle. Ooh, you get a Dragon. That's pretty cool. So, I might just show you all these ones. Spirits, Pegasus, another spirit, soldier, and then of course that shows you how to play magic. I don't know how. And this side you get birds. Well, that's a cool bird. Uh, kitchen soldier, a boar, and then a repairing and one dragon. But yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, opening. Uh, like I said, I'm gonna try to get more stuff, more cut time stuff, because cut time is freaking amazing. Also, I'm hoping to, I'm still working out the stuff on my new computer. I'm hoping to do some arena gameplay for you guys, do some deck techs, maybe just gameplay of decks. But yeah, uh, I have a lot of stuff planned for this channel. And also, another thing, if you guys are, I know some people are not into it, but if you guys are interested in Yu-Gi-Oh, you should go check out my Yu-Gi-Oh channel, because I also have a Yu-Gi-Oh channel. It's called Stardust 200, where I do a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh content. I do duels, I do box openings. I haven't done one, but my last one was on Christmas. I opened a box of Hint Rage. I know Blazing Vortex is a new set right now for Yu-Gi-Oh, but yeah, I do a whole bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Actually, I did a backpack review of, actually, I have the bag right here. Let me show it off real quick. If you guys want to check out that review, you should go check it out. Got a gym tech bag. You only can see the corner of it, but yeah, I did a, re a video on it on my on my Stardust channel, so go check it out. But yeah, anyways, guys, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I said, look forward to future content. So if you want to, make sure you subscribe and also like this video, it really helps. And also, don't forget to click the bell icon so whenever a video like this or my future videos I'm planning on doing, you'll be notified straight away. So make sure you click those three things, anyways, guys. I will see you guys later. Later, guys.